Hey what is up guys welcome back to the channel now with Need for Speed Unbound coming out pretty soon uh, less than two months away I guess EA have decided to be you know giving everyone a bit of an early Christmas present in terms of the Need for Speed community in the fact that they are giving away the McLaren F1 for free essentially for the PlayStation and Xbox communities now it's unknown if they're actually doing it for PC or they plan to I've seen kind of PC players saying look why am I not getting it for free sort of thing um, there was also a small issue that on the PlayStation version at least yesterday uh, when they first announced this that um, I believe it wasn't working properly on the store so it was still trying to charge people um, but now I believe it is fully free um, for Xbox and PlayStation users, um, not quite sure about the PC side. Um, I had, like I said, I've have seen people um, on PC essentially saying, "Look, why are we not getting it?" sort of thing. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, hopefully, they will give it free for everybody eventually. Um, but currently, it is only available for Xbox and PlayStation. Now, I'm unsure if they actually gave away the whole pack or just the car. Now. I believe this car came um, kind of alongside a challenge and kind of blacklist with also the one of the Aston Martins um, and you kind of had challenges to complete and such. I mean, it's a couple of years ago since I've done them myself. Um, obviously, I am one that actually paid for it, um, which I don't really mind. Like, it's pretty cool that people are actually getting to experience it for free. Um, but I believe it came along with a bunch of challenges for customization options, uh, sort of neons and character items, etc. So I'm not sure if they're just giving away the car or they're giving away the whole pack. Um, it'd be pretty cool if they gave away the whole, you know, pack itself. But if they are just giving you the McLaren F1, which they pretty much state, then it's well worth it anyway, to be honest. It's one of the best cars that I probably used in my time through Need for Speed Heat. Um, I really enjoyed using it. The, you know, it essentially just turns the game to easy mode and allows for some very quick kind of you know money grinding and, and such like that. So definitely one of the better cars in the game, and it is currently available for free to everyone. Like I said, on PlayStation and Xbox. So make sure you go ahead and download it now. In terms of getting it off the PlayStation Store, it's very easy. You just go to the game, um, and essentially, if you've already got it downloaded, go to View Product. And you should be able to kind of select the option that will give it you for free. Um, for Xbox, I'm not quite sure because I never actually had this game on Xbox. But you essentially just go into the DLC for the game and download it from there. It shouldn't charge you. If it does, just report it to EA. The best place to seem to be able to do it is actually on Twitter. Um, they were fully aware of the issue. It didn't seem to affect um, Xbox. But essentially the issue, like I kind of said, was that it was kind of still trying to charge PlayStation players. So if it is still doing that for you, um, there is a kind of workaround as far as I'm aware, which is try not to do it through mobile. A lot of people are trying to sort of grab it from their mobile. Um, a lot of people are saying the best way to get it to work was to essentially go onto your console and do it. Um, that's the way I'd personally do it anyway. Um, so if you are doing it on mobile and it's still trying to charge you, just head over to your console at the you know next possible time and go and go and uh, go and grab it for free. Um, it should say. If not, just report it to EA. Um, like I said, um, and hopefully they will try and you know fix that. But I believe it is pretty much 100% fixed as far as I'm aware. So I don't know, to be honest, I just find it a bit unexpected that EA would really give away, well, anything for free, but it is a nice little gift. Uh, people are probably still find a way to complain, but at the end of the day, you're getting one of the better cars within the game for totally free. Um, you know, for the PC players, if you guys actually aren't getting it for free, that really isn't great, to be honest. Um, and you're well within your rights to complain. Uh, but for anyone on PlayStation Xbox, let me know what you think of the McLaren F1. Personally, like I said, I absolutely loved it and it essentially just turned the game into complete easy mode um, for you know pretty much the whole game after I've done the uh, Blacklist Challenges. Um, just let me know as well if you actually got the Aston Martin with it. I'm unsure if they're actually giving that part away for free um, or if it's even listed within the game anymore because when I went to check the DLC, I could not see a single thing for the Aston Martin. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened there, but... Yep, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn those notifications on for daily racing videos. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace.